Welcome back to creating a real-time leaderboard with Redis and Unreal Engine 5. In this episode, I will show you how to connect the game backend to Redis Cloud. You can start by creating a new Redis database. Go to redis.io slash try free to create a new account or sign into an existing account in the Redis Cloud console. Click New Database. You could try a 30 megabyte Redis Essentials database for free with no time limit. Rename the database if you'd like. Then select your preferred cloud vendor and the region closest to you. Select the 30 megabyte free option and click Create Database. Wait for the database to be provisioned. Under the General section, copy the public endpoint. Now we need to update our game backend environment variables to use the Redis Cloud database. Here we have two choices. Continue using Docker to run our game backend container or run the game backend server with Node.js. Both methods require updating the Redis URL to point to the Redis Cloud database. The difference is which environment variable file to update. To continue using Docker, open the .env.docker environment variable file and replace the local host connection string with your Redis Cloud public endpoint. Go back to the Redis Cloud console and scroll down to find the security section. Click on the header to expand the section. Then click copy next to default user password to copy the password. Note that you can change the password by clicking on the Edit button near the top right corner. Go back to the env.docker file in VS Code and append the username and password to the connection string by adding redis colon slash slash the username which is default colon password followed by the at symbol. Save the project, then run docker compose down if your docker containers are still running, followed by docker compose up to start the docker containers with the new environment variables. In docker desktop, stop the local redis container but leave the game backend leaderboard running. Now if you would rather use Node.js, make the changes to the Redis URL in the env file instead of the env docker file Then save the project and run npm install followed by npm run dev. Go back to the project folder and open the res racer ue5 project by clicking on the u project file. Now let's test play to see if we're connected. There's a shortcut to reach the finish line without going through the entire course, and that's to go in reverse. Wait until the timer starts and drive backwards. Let's do this a few more times to add a few entries into our leaderboard. Now 
Now to check in on our Redis Cloud database, we can use Redis Insight to get a graphical user interface of our Redis database. Previously, you had to install the desktop application and connect it to the cloud. But now we have Redis Insight in the cloud. That means you can look at your Redis Cloud database inside your web browser without having to install the desktop application. To access Redis Insight in the cloud, simply go to your database in the Redis Cloud console. Under the General section, click Connect. In the panel that opens up, click the Redis Insight drop-down and click Launch Redis Insight Web. And there we have it. We can see our leaderboard entries. Our game backend is now connected to Redis Cloud and we have a real-time leaderboard with Redis and Unreal Engine 5. If you like this tutorial series, feel free to like and comment. Subscribe for more Redis Game Dev content. There's also a written version of this tutorial for your reference. The link will be in the description below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.